So today I want to talk about what I consider the three most overrated trees for whitetail habitat. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to give a little bit of my background. You know, for over 20 years, I worked as a conservation tree planting contractor. And as such, I planted literally millions of trees across the Midwest on various conservation projects. I also owned a tree nursery where we grew potted trees as well as uh, shade and landscape trees, which we dug and burlapped for various projects, not only for shade and landscape, but also for wildlife habitat projects. I'm gonna guess there's probably no one in the hunting industry who's planted more trees than I have, especially on wildlife habitat projects. Uh, there was one spring several years ago where just in that one spring, we planted over a half a million trees in seven states. So, um, you know, I've been planting trees as wildlife habitat for about 30 years and have a lot of experience with many different species. And today I'm gonna share what I feel are the three most overrated tree species for whitetails. So the first tree species that I consider overrated for whitetails is the sawtooth oak. About 20 or 25 years ago, the sawtooth oak was really hyped as a tree that produced acorns quicker than any other oak and that the deer devoured. Um, I planted several of those on my farm back at that time. And what I found was that they were really overrated because they did not produce acorns any faster than some of the native oaks. Uh, the sawtooth oak is a native of Asia, making it, making it an exotic. Now, it is not an invasive. I have never seen a situation where the sawtooth oak was invasive and took over um, the native species. But uh, what I have found is that the sawtooth oak cannot take some of the cold winters that we have here in the Midwest. Um, for example, just a couple of years ago, uh, we had a late freeze in the spring and that sawtooth oak had just started to bud out. And, uh, you know, I lost a bunch of, of larger sawtooth oaks that spring just because they couldn't take that late uh, spring freeze. And a lot of those oaks, you know, were bigger oaks. They were like in the eight to 10 inch diameter uh, on their trunk size. And uh, you would think a tree that size would be well established, but that late freeze was enough to kill those non-native sawtooth oaks. I just think that there's a whole lot better native oaks uh, that could be used for wildlife habitat instead of these exotic sawtooth oaks. The other thing is that these oaks did not produce acorns any faster than some of the native species. The next tree species that I think has been overhyped for whitetail habitat, I'm sure is gonna catch a lot of you by surprise, but that tree species is the Dunstan chestnut. Back about 10 years ago, I wrote an article for North American Whitetail on chestnuts. And in doing my research for that article, I interviewed chestnut experts at Ohio State University and also the University of Missouri. And both of those experts told me that they believed the Dunstan chestnut was really just a Chinese chestnut. Both of these experts said that the characteristics of the Dunstan were right in line with the Chinese chestnut and they did not see a single trait of the American chestnut. For the record, the Dunstan is supposedly a cross between the American chestnut and the Chinese chestnut. I don't consider myself a chestnut expert. I'm just sharing with you what these experts told me. I have planted both Dunstan chestnuts as well as Chinese chestnuts on my own property as well as several other properties where I was doing wildlife habitat projects. And I can tell you for certain that I could not tell the difference between the Chinese chestnut and the Dunstan. I think as a land manager, if you're gonna plant chestnuts, you can save yourself a lot of money by just simply buying the Chinese chestnuts and you'll never know the difference. So the last overrated wildlife tree that I wanna to talk to you about today, I'm sure is gonna catch everyone by surprise. I believe the apple tree is way overrated in terms of its attraction to whitetails. Now sure, I'll grant you that whitetails love to eat apples, um, but I think that from a land manager's perspective, there are much better options. 
Um, apples are, are a little bit finicky. Uh, many of those uh, apple varieties will produce fruit way before hunting season. Um, they are a, a higher maintenance tree than some of the other options. And I think there are other fruit tree options that the deer actually prefer over apples. And again, this is not to say that apples are not good for deer, or that deer do not like apples. I'm just saying that in my mind, from my experience dealing with hundreds of consulting clients, I think the apple tree is way overrated in the eyes of a lot of whitetail land managers. So in summary, I wanna stress that I'm not saying these trees are bad for whitetails. I mean, we all know that whitetails love apples and they love acorns and chestnuts. That's not the point at all. What I'm stressing here is that I consider these trees to be overrated. I think there are some much better tree species for whitetail habitat projects. And I'm gonna introduce those to you in the next video. You don't wanna miss it, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the bell so you receive notifications when all these videos are released.